She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. Thanks so much for joining us today. We know that today has the opportunity to save your marriage. Or if you choose not to watch it, you might be headed on a path right this very minute of a marriage destruction that is going to have major implications on your kids and you. Divorce is expensive, whether you realize it or not. And even if you do divorce the person, guess what? You're still going to have that person in your life for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not, if you have children. Bottom line, you share kids with somebody. Yeah, I've been there. Hans and I at one point just, he says he didn't hate me, but I'm telling you, I hated him. I did. I was a terrible wife. I was. Well, Danny, the show is about success. Why are we talking about marriage? Because it has everything to do with success. And I'm not talking about status quo of success. You see, the society that we live in sells us that money is the most important thing. Big house, cars, boats, junk, jewelry, clothing, all of it. That's the most important thing. And that's what success is. And so sad. Many of those people, which much like myself, have miserable relationships at home. They are addicted to their work. They're finding pleasure, more pleasure in their work because the marriage is disgusting. Just downright disgusting. It's toxic. It's hateful. It's harmful. So is that the life you want? No, that's the life I had. I had that life. And I'm going to tell you, it is so not worth it. You do not want that life. It sucks. It's terrible. It's toxic. And it eats at your confidence every single day when it's like that. Well, there's been a movement that started in our country. It really started sometime in the late 50s. So at the birth of the 60s, there was a movement that was started, and it was actually planted in by our government. It was a way for our government to get more tax dollars. It was a divide and, cover, a divide and conquer plan. And you're like, our government would never want to do something bad to us. Listen, friend, you need to wake up and smell the homeless. You got to look at the corruption, see where it started, and look at the reality. What's the results of these movements that have been started in our nation? What have the results been? So, yeah, women who largely were proud to be the caregivers of the home, who proudly were wives. They were beautiful. They dressed nice each day. They had their hair done every day. They made amazing meals from scratch. They were self-respectful and respectful of others. They knew how to train up their children to be responsible, respectful men and women of society. They knew how to impart vision into the home and into their kids. In fact, it was way back when, when we used to hear, listen, if you want to be president one day of the United States of America, you got to make sure and study hard. You got to make sure and always tell the truth. Women used to cast vision into their kids about maybe hopefully one day being the president of the United States of America. I haven't heard that in a really long time. Nope. But somehow the 60s came and this whole idea that really came through the banner of equality, women, it's rights. When that banner came out, what was behind that banner, what was behind the scenes was, let's figure out how to get more money. If we put the wife out into the workplace, now she's actually got to spend some money on some different clothes. She needs some more professional dress. And now we are going to pay for a babysitter. And now she's going to make more money, which means now the family's going to save more. I mean, the money's going to spend more money in the economy and we're going to get more tax dollars. Why? Because where does tax dollars come from? Well, first of all, she's going to work, right? So she's going to pay taxes. The family's going to pay more taxes by her going to work. One. Two, when she goes out to shop for new suits or clothing that's appropriate for work versus at home, well, every time she makes a purchase, there's taxes there too. She's going to pay sales tax, not to mention the merchant paid all kinds of taxes. The guy who made the fabric, he paid taxes on that. He had tax on his labor. He got ta- tax on his all of his um, 
uh, business, okay, and his income of it, right? And then, of course, there was the suppliers, and then the suppliers to the truckers, the truckers to the store, the store. There was taxes paid so many times on just one purchase of one suit. Just one purchase of one suit. One purchase of one pair of shoes. Multi- the gas. People get taxed on the gasoline for the transportation. You get taxed when you buy the car. Do you understand? So much taxation. So it was a way, again, let's tell women that they have no rights. Yeah. Let's tell them that they are not equal. Let's create this controversy. Oh, I know I'm making you mad right now, but just go with me for just a second. Because what's the result? The families have been divided. The divorce rate has increased. Women are more unhappy today than they've ever been. They are more miserable today than they've ever been. How do you know? Just look at them. Just look at them. More women are obese today than ever before in the history of our nation. More women have greasy, messy buns on top of their head today than they've ever had in history. Women today have have more self-hate inside of them than they've had ever in the history of our nation. And when was the change? Hmm. Yeah. Some propaganda that came out all to stimulate more money in pockets of people higher up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a part of either one of those teams. But I'm going to tell you what. I am for you and I am for my family. And I'm going to tell the truth how I see it. And the fact is we have to look at the results of the feminist movement. Danny Johnson is not a feminist. No way. I don't believe in it, and I think it's sad that most of us have been completely deceived into this propaganda. And that deception has hurt marriages, has brought toxicity into families, has broken up families. This kind of mindset has destroyed the fibers and the beauty of who women actually are. Now, do I believe that women can run companies? I've ran companies for 29 years. Yes. And I did it on a part-time basis, friend. Majority of my career, I have worked part-time. Part-time. Raising my kids, putting my husband first, putting my kids first, putting some time away for myself first, and managed to figure out how to make generate millions of dollars on a part-time basis throughout my entire 29 years as an entrepreneur. So do I believe that women can run companies? Duh, I've been doing it. But I also homeschooled my kids. I also was the cook of my household. I did the laundry. I cleaned the toilets. I still do to this day. Even though I'm a millionaire, even though I'm financially independent, why do I do this? Because there's a certain confidence that I find in scrubbing toilets. That's why. I don't ever want to forget where I came from. I grew up in poverty. I was a welfare recipient. I was homeless. I was a druggie. I was toxic to my husband. I was abusive to my husband. I was an adulteress. I was evil in my perspective. How I treated my husband was absolute evil. It was wrong. And I want to see women come out of darkness How is the feminist movement really helping you? How is it helping your love life? How is it really making you feel? How is it making you feel? What void is it actually filling? Was there even a void there to begin with? Let's talk about it today. 830-315-1557 is my number. If, sorry, if uh, your, your call goes to voicemail because all the lines are taken up, just leave us your comment. Leave us your comment right on the voicemail. Tell us how you feel. Give it to me straight. You agree or disagree? I want to hear about it. So I'm going to caller number one. Rick Campo, do you feel in your home that your wife gives you space to be a man or not? Well, Danny, I can tell you that it has been difficult that I couldn't even get married. Tell me why. Opportunities I've had have fit everything you describe. I've been specifically told by women after I expressed to them, if you're loving and kind and respectful, there's nothing I won't do for you. That's right. Their response is, that's not going to work for me. If I cannot manipulate you into it and control you, then I don't care about having a relationship with you. So I'm moving on. Wow. And I cannot tell you how many times I've heard that. Rick. And worse. 
that... So because of that, I'm not even married. Rick, this is mind-blowing. You serious? You seriously have had women... And, in, and look at this. Respect and honor. You're not... I mean, you're not positioning yourself as, hey... I'm the head of the household, and you better bow down to me. You're asking for no. something that's morally right. Mutual respect. Mutual honor. <clears throat> and there's nothing you and won't I've, do for her. No, and I've put it in the context that this is about us for us. It's not about a me and a you. This that's is right. an us. That's right. And I don't want to control you, and I don't want you to control me. We'll be there for each other on the ups and downs and whatever makes it work. And I've also told them that if you really love somebody or care about somebody, there are times you're going to be angry with each yes. other. Yes. You need to look at that person and say, you know, honey, I'm angry with you right now, but I love you and you can trust I will never do anything to hurt you. Yep. And they look at me like, what planet are you from? Wow. Wow. So in your opinion, what has been the result of the feminist movement on the women? It's affected their attitudes to a more negative attitude or co combative attitude. And, yep. you know, and my attitude in general toward life and people in any kind of relationship, work, friendship, whatever, is to, to be inspiring to other people, to yeah. support them and help them grow to be what they want to be. And yeah. You don't do it in by disadvantaging yourself. No. You succeed and they succeed. Yep. And you support that. Yep. Yep. But uh, <sighs> even I, I meet a lot of men that I don't know if it's just they're tired of it or if there's some guys that aren't very good guys. And That's true. They don't do the right thing either, mm -hmm. without a doubt. And mm -hmm. they want to be controlling because they're insecure and mm -hmm. weak and so forth and Mm -hmm. But I've had women that I've dated, and they said, look, I cannot date you. You are too strong or too smart that I can't manipulate you, so I don't want to be involved with you. Wow. Okay, so, Rick, I have a question look, for you. This is, this is, this is mind-blowing to me. So, were these, by any chance, Christian women? All different kinds. Was any of them ever a Christian woman that, that you know, found herself Some, to be of Christian beliefs? Some very, very, very religious. I actually had one of them tell me that this is a woman I dated for. Okay, hold on one second. I got to cut to a break. I want to hear this. I want to hear okay. what you have to say. Wow. A woman who calls herself a Christian but says, I need the opportunity to control and manipulate you. She don't know the Bible. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Your marriage may be headed for divorce and you don't even know it. Next on The Danny Johnson Show, Danny will show you a common thought pattern that is killing marriages every day. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider Member today and get on the fast track to success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. 
Did you know you can take The Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the DannyJohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead-end place where this gentleman found himself but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. And now back to the Danny Johnson Show. Feminism has wreaked havoc on men, women, children, businesses, finances, culture, our society, even politics. It is time for the truth to be exposed. I used to be an evil woman to my husband. Evil how? I used to manipulate him. I used to control him. I used to tell him that he was useless, that he meant nothing to me, that I didn't want him in my house, that it was my house. I bought this house before he and I got together. Get out of my house. You have no use of me. The only thing you're good for is sex and that's it. And I can go find that some other place. Yeah, that was me emasculating the man I said I loved. And why? Was it because of society? Maybe. I grew up definitely with a feminist mother. But why? It was because of the pain of my own past. It was because of ignorance. It was because I was using pain to bring pain on someone else. And I believe that the feminist movement has given liberty to women to completely nullify who they are. Beautiful, caring, nurturing, strong when they need to be strong. But strong does not mean manipulate or control. It doesn't mean emasculate. Strong means address what needs to be addressed with honor, dignity, and respect, not manipulation and control. That's childish. I'm calling you out, girl, right now. That's childish. That's wrong. If you wouldn't let your daughter talk to someone like that, then why are you talking to her father like that? Joining me right now is Rick. Rick, who just explained that he's not married today because of this one thing. So I asked you if the women that you had dated, had any of them been religious or, or, or Christians, and you said yes. And you're about to tell me a story of one Christian woman who, who, and you told me these other women had said, no, I should have the right to manipulate and control and do whatever I want to you if I'm going to be married to you. That's true. So glad you didn't get married. That was really smart. That was going to end in a divorce. You're exactly and right. And you will never make that woman happy. You will never, ever bring happiness to that woman. No matter what you try, she will never be happy. Well, and I did try. And the more I tried, the more it was, okay, well, that's this month. What are you going to do for me next month? What do you and mean by it, that? The demands. Well, I'm a pilot. I travel a lot. So mm-hmm. she said, well, when you get back from a trip, instead of going out to dinner or watching television, can we just sit and talk and enjoy each other's company? I said, well, yeah, that sounds reasonable. I'm happy to do it. Mm -hmm. So we did that. And then the next month, it was something else. And then the next month, something else until she kept demanding and demanding and demanding. I modified to meet her needs or desires, which Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with, but it was never reciprocated. It was never about, okay, 
tell me what you need as well. It was only about Her. this is what I need or what I want, and yeah. that's all I want to talk about. Yeah. And we eventually broke up, and she called me back about three months later, and she said, I've had a conversation with God, and he told me the only Savior for your soul is for me to try one more time. <laughs> and I said, well, I'm glad to hear it. You know what? Those kind of people, yeah, those are a work of art. There's a special place for them, man. I'm telling you what. There's a spanking that's going to come on that chick right there. Tell you what. It cracks me up when people say, God told me. They, these people have no idea that they're going to be face-to-face with their maker one day, and he's going to say, did I really tell you? You remember that time that you, you tried to manipulate your boyfriend back to you after you, you made after your relationship was one way? After you wanted to be served all the time and you wouldn't reciprocate back to him? Remember that time you said God told me that the only way your soul is going to be saved is if you get back with me? That is straight up evil. Your your soul has nothing to do with dating her. Your soul only has something to do between you and God. Wow. And then on a lesser level, just in day-to-day life, I've been out public having dinner or whatever and I've met women and I've actually had women I don't know who I've known for five minutes literally punch me in the face for refusing to go have sex with them what I mean I've been physically hit multiple times because you said no Yes. Who have we become? Who have we become? Who have we become? This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Be sure to tell a friend about the Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. My name is Anders and I'm from Latvia. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, I was a struggling English teacher back home. I had a language school that I started when I was 21 and uh, had grown it uh, to be pretty okay in my city. But at the same time, I had uh, acquired a debt of $60,000. In a matter of eight to nine months, I got rid of my debt. And by 2011, we had our first million dollar year. This has been amazing. We grew our school from about 100 students to 2,000 students and I can only highly recommend for you to come to the next event and be part of this community and learn the tools that will help you to succeed. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, my family and I were hemorrhaging under the pressures of debt. Since attending First Steps to Success in January of 2014, my family and I have paid off over $147,000 in 19 months. We're completely consumer debt free, we have restored relationships, and our business is growing at a rate of 15% at every event. Your next next step is to sign up for the next First Steps to Success and start creating your own story. My name is Jeff Conyers and prior to First Steps to Success, I was a struggling business owner. I had discovered that my business account went negative 5,000 and uh, I, feel, I realized that I did not have a business plan and I needed to do something. Fast forward to one year after, I have now created 
created um, just by implementing the tools at First Up Success. Uh, over $50,000 created another business, improved my personal and business relationships. Man, it's like the story is forever changing and just it just gets better and better. I don't know about you or what you're going through, but I would highly recommend getting to First Steps of Success. Prior to plugging into First Steps of Success, we were drowning under a mountain of debt. We were heading to divorce court. We had failing businesses and toxic relationships. Since plugging into First Steps of Success, our marriage has been restored. We have paid off over $56,000 in 11 months. We've helped our community pay off over $300,000 in 14 months. My business has grown in over 600% in four months. And for the first time, I can say I'm just loving life. I have great relationships. So if you are fine where you are, then this event is not for you. But if you're ready to reach your goal and to change your life, then I highly recommend that you get registered for the next event. Hi, my name is Jill Kearns. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Prior to coming to First Steps to Success, uh, my husband and I were struggling financially and were uh, hurting um, in our relationship a lot. Uh, we needed um, more time together and we just were struggling with that because of the finances. And so uh, since plugging in, we've actually paid off over $280,000 in debt we are completely debt free and more than anything else the look on my husband's face of relief and um, an excitement about where our future lies and the traveling and the fun enjoyable times that we'll get to spend together as a family is totally worth it so if you want to have better relationships with your significant other your children if you have a desire to um, to be completely debt free and released from that bondage for whatever reason, uh, whatever the burdens are, your next step is to get to First Steps to Success right now. So prior to getting started to DannyJohnson.com, I was a college dropout. I was working a, a bottom of the barrel type job. I started plugging into her training. Um, I've skyrocketed through the ranks of Corporate America. I've tripled my income in the last five years. Uh, that's all fine and Danny, but it wasn't, uh, there's a part of me that had the part missing. So um, I ended up using Danny's prospecting skills and I ended up meeting the love of my life. Uh, since then, we've paid off $32,000 of debt since October 2014 uh, so get here get here now this is the greatest thing ever you have to see this the, the skills and strategies Danny teaches are unbelievable they totally took someone like me with no education and helped me just like multiply my efforts so you need to be here What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Men need the opportunity and space to be a man, and so do women. However, the propaganda of the feminist movement has completely made the space issue a bit lopsided, in my opinion. Why? Because I used to be one of those women. I had no space for my husband, no, not at all, including his nightstand that had my junk in it and had my pictures that I wanted on his nightstand and had some books that I wanted on his nightstand. He had no space of his own, none. There was not a single place in our home that he helped to contribute to that was his. All the decorations in the house was all mine. Man, I made it look the way I wanted it to. The color on the walls was my color that I picked. I was a terrible person to live with. I can't even believe that Hans stayed with me. Danny, why are you talking about this? Because you are to have success in every area of your life. And if you are like the majority of the people, you are chasing a fantasy and all you will have is poverty of relationships, poverty of health, poverty of finances, waiting for you. What's the fantasy? That you actually think that you can be unaware of your attitude, your mouth, and how you live and expect everyone to cater to you. That's how I once lived. I don't live like that any longer. Maybe I do in a little bit and I don't know it, but here's what I will tell you. I pray to God daily, show me the error of my ways. Show me the error of my ways because I want harmony and peace with Hans, with my kids, with my coworkers, 
with my finances and my business. Show me the air of my ways. Listen, if you are watching this or listening to this on the radio right now, please reach out to somebody else that you know probably should hear this. Now listen, there's a good chance I'm going to get a lot of hate mail over today's show, and guess what? I don't care because there are some women out there that feel voiceless, and there are some women out there that's been given voice, and that voice has now turned into abuse, manipulation, control, arrogance, pride, wickedness, and toxicity. They've become more selfish. We need a revolution for women in our country to go back to our roots of who we were designed in our mother's wombs to be beautiful, designed to be nurturing, caring, encouraging, to come alongside as a companion, to bring completion, not to change our man, not to tell him where he's fallen short, but to be there to lift his head up when it is down and he lifts ours up when ours is down, to believe in him when he's struggling and then it is reciprocated. Listen, we can do a lot of talking about this topic. There's so much to uncover, but we have to look at the truth. What is the result of the feminine movement, the feminist movement? I've been a CEO of companies for 29 years. I've raised my kids. I worked 20 hours a week. I made millions of dollars keeping my family first. Hans, my first human priority, then my children and my home, cleaning my own house. Still to this day, even though I'm financially independent and I could have someone come clean my house every day, guess what? I scrub my own toilets. Why? For the principle and the example I set for my family. Not only that, I find dignity in being a woman. I find dignity in humbling myself to scrub the toilets. I find dignity in cooking every day. I find the dignity in the laundry every day. I find the dignity, yes, in all of that. For me, that's my personal definition of success. What? Financially independent, hello, and not blowing money in stupid places. That's my personal definition. Having a marriage that's hot, spicy, sexy, amazing, passionate, and peaceful, and harmonious. Kids that I love being around more than I love being around any other human next to Hans. My family is the most important thing to me. What about you? What do you think has been the impact of the feminist movement on our society. Kelly from Washington State, welcome to the show. Thank you, Danny. Love your show. Love what you stand for. I love watching you grow and lead us in growth. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So what do you got to say about everything we're talking about today? Oh, love? gosh. I am a reformed feminist myself. Really? I am. I was a child of the 80s when it was all, you know, women bring home the bacon and all the commercials that told us to be strong and independent and we don't need men. Yeah. And, um, you know, um, I think I had to run my own course and, and just be a full idiot. And then I met the most wonderful man and I got married and um, within a year we had our first child. And it was that first year. It was really tough to yeah. get along. And... Being a mother opened my eyes that it is literally the toughest, hardest, most wonderful job in the world. It is. It is. It is. And that little girl um, has grown up into a wonderful woman, and she is part of a new generation that's being targeted to be a feminist. Yes. And you know what? I smile at this kind of talk that she's talking because I'm like, I've been there. I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> So I am learning to be a gracious mom, and I'm, you know, I'm really trying to let my love for my husband, her dad, yes. shine through, yes. because right now it isn't shining through to her. She just th thinks it's kind of dumb to be a slave to your man kind of thing. And you're not. Are you a slave to your man? No. <laughs> I'm not a slave. I'm not a slave to my man. Man, I love to serve him. I love to be with him. And mind you, there were times where I hated him and he wanted anything to do with him. And that's when I had the mind of a feminist. 
That's when I was an idiot. Sorry, that's going to so be taken out of context. That's when I was rude, mean, obnoxious, and emasculating to him. That's when, when I was entitled, when I felt entitled to be treated like a princess, even though I wasn't acting like a princess. Oh, there we go, truth bomb. Truth bomb is right. I was acting like a winch, right? I was mean. So yep. I'm expecting him to treat me like a princess and a queen when I'm not acting like one? Give me no, a break. total entitlement, total buy yes. into the society. And you know, they offer so much. Feminism offers you really a lot um, in word, but they don't deliver. They no. are not delivering no. at all. No. And so, I Kelly, I want you to tell me something. I want you to tell me you said that you grew up in the 80s and you saw all the propaganda telling you to be strong and you don't need a man. And gosh, you know, the birth of sperm banks, right? We don't need a man. We can just get <laughs> pregnant ourselves. I'm going to pre- get myself pregnant with a turkey baster. <laughs> Yeah, that's feminine. Oh, man. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> that's real know, feminine. Really took, I got my heart broken um, by several relationships, and it really took me uh, making a choice. I want to say I was smarter than – I wasn't smarter than anybody else. I just made a choice one day to pursue the living God and, more importantly, to accept the gift of Jesus Christ, His Son, <laughs> that would cover over all my mistakes and really – I was looking to to God Himself in a, such a really just a uh, pure way in in terms of just you know what I I saw the facade and I looked behind the curtain and I went there's nothing here this is empty and I went running back to God somebody that I knew as a little girl and that's yeah. when I really felt like He was whispering truth into me for the yep. first time in my life. Yep, yep. And so, so gosh, that's that is so beautiful. precious and so beautiful. Now, listen, you said that you were a feminist before. Now, listen, not all feminists are the same, but I'm just saying the movement in, in general is what we're talking about here. And so yeah. when I say I was evil and wicked, I was that kind of a feminist. I'm not saying everybody is, but that's who I was. Yeah. Who were you? How, what was your look and, and um, your perception of men, and how did that play out in your life? I've got 60 seconds before I have to cut to a break. Sure, sure, sure. I think for me, it played out in total pride. I, I felt like I could do it all by myself, and I could make a mark on this world and really kind of use men along the way yeah. to make that mark, whether it was at the workplace and thinking you can get ahead, yeah. or whether it's just friendships and thinking that they were worth nothing because it was all about the corporate ladder, right? Right. So if you can make... If you can make your mark in society and kind of like what you said earlier, have the big house, have all that stuff, that's when you are somebody. And what I realized was that I wasn't a rich person at at any level. I certainly wasn't a millionaire. But what happened to me was it just got to the point where I realized this chasing after the dollar, chasing after the the next job, it is is so empty. It leaves you... What you see is the underbelly of evil because you realize men and women alike become very evil when they're pursuing the dollar. Yep. Yep. I I know I was. I I, I became evil when when that was my number one priority in life. That's for darn sure. And and every bad attitude came out of me in every possible way. It was disgusting. I was neglecting my children. I was treating Hans badly. I was abusive in every way to him. And I mean in every way. I was adulterous. I used to hit him. I cussed him out. I was evil in every way chasing almighty dollar disgusting absolutely disgusting yeah, thank is. you so much and kelly for exposing your soul you and sharing thank your you testimony you. yes thank Take you care. so much for being here god bless bye-bye oh my goodness man this is just so important listen share this right now if you're on facebook right now please share today's program share it on twitter instagram share it everywhere people got to hear this this is danny johnson we'll continue with more after this Are you falling for the lie that's been breaking up marriages for 50 years? When we come back, Danny will expose if that lie is working in your house. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. 
Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. So um, four years ago in July, we showed up to our first Danny Johnson event, our first first steps to success. And we were completely desperate in every area of our life. At the time, I thought it was just because of our finances, but then I figured out pretty quickly that it was because of my lack of people skills that we were where we were. Um, we, we sat in the front row. We got fr um, fast track. We sat in the front row, right in the center, next to some amazing people, because we, um, we were so hungry, so desperate so broken and I pretty much cried through the entire event, honestly. And um, when she did the, the war on debt, um, which she will show you, you know, this afternoon, I went back immediately and got it. Um, she had just started talking. I heard a couple of stories and I was like, if they can do it, I know we can do it. So we went back and got it and listened to it on the way home in the car because we drove from Michigan all the way to um, to Missouri. So we listened to it in the car, and when we got home, we immediately got our papers out, we wrote down our plan, and we started applying it. And within 14 months, we paid off over $62,000 worth of debt. Um, we never in a million years thought that was possible. Um, there's so much that has happened in the last four years, and um, I'm the person that wants the results immediately. I don't like the process of getting there. I want to just get there. But I've learned to appreciate the process um, over the last four years and just seeing the transformation that has happened in us. Uh, personally, we, we individually experienced different things and we experienced a lot of things together. I was paying our bills. I was um, completely disrespectful to my husband and didn't really know how bad it actually was. And. Um, so that, has, that part of our life is still improving. I can say we're a work in progress. It takes time, and we have grown so much. Uh, we showed up, my wife, I didn't know this at the time, but she was battling thoughts of suicide. I had no idea. Um, I thought I was being a perfectly good husband. I did my best to serve her, you know, be a great guy. But what she needed was somebody who would step up and be a leader in our marriage. That's not who I was. And I was totally emasculated physically emasculated by there's someone in our church, the pastor, and so we felt the brokenness of a church having to leave and just hurt, you know, and devastated. Um, one of the biggest breakthroughs started in our marriage is when Lucy started being a wife to me. And I, as a leader, I should step up right, take action first, be the initiator. She did it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a completely different person. And I can tell you, our marriage has just, it's, it's amazing the difference between her feeling suicidal, me stepping down as a leader, to me taking the initiative and just looking her in the eyes and saying, honey, thank you for allowing me to be your leader. And she just melts every time. This is awesome. So. <laughs> So let me just tell you this, guys. If you're struggling, or you're broke, you're wondering what your next step is, hey, just take action. Write, follow those notes that you just took. Take action and do it because your story is going to be here, and people are going to be inspired by your story. So are you all ready to take notes? All right, let's do this. Help me welcome Miss Danny Johnson, America's favorite millionaire, to the stage. This is The Danny Johnson Show. So, you know, were you much like many of us that we had all of the programming through the television telling us how to view men? What even about right now, friend? Like right now, right? An insurance commercial that shows the husband as looking like a dim rod, right? He's there looking like an idiot. He doesn't know what to do. He's scratching his head. They have a big white cloud above his head. And she's like, I'll take care of it. You know, they're positioning the women as being the smart one that can solve it all, save the day. She's Wonder Woman. And then he's the idiot and he's stupid. What impact? 
has that had on society? A governmentally stimulated plan that was birthed in the late 50s, a movement of women burning their bras, entering the workplace, abandoning their beauty. What, Danny Johnson? I didn't abandon my beauty when I got a job. No, you're right, you didn't. But that attitude is the abandonment of the beauty you are called to. That attitude of treating men with disrespect and dishonor, well, he's a jerk. No, is it possible? Is it possible? That your lack of honor, respect, and maybe even not even knowing who you are, the beautiful woman that you were designed to be, who knows how to be gentle, and strong. And strong does not mean disrespectful, hateful, manipulative, controlling. It means you stand firm where you need to stand firm. You love, you love well. And when a conversation needs to happen and a confrontation needs to happen, you do it in honor, dignity, respect. And with those people skills that you were born with, you're the communicator in the household. That's the gift on the woman. But women have used it. And I'm telling you right now, it's not so much that it's us to blame. But here's the facts. There was a plan that was set out against us, and we fell for it. And from this day forward, after you hear my voice, there's no excuse any longer. There's no excuse for us to raise up our daughters and sons in that kind of environment. It's disgusting, it's unhealthy, and it has to stop. I'm mad as hell, and I know you can tell, because it makes me sick to my stomach when I have witnessed it, and I personally did it myself. It is time for our men to be honored and respected and cherished. And for us women to as well, but not by demanding it through pride, arrogance, and entitlement. The feminist movement has had a bad, bad result. What are they delivering? Broken homes, sexless marriages, depressed women who are now obese. What is it delivered? Women who are more lost than they've ever been. Just look at us as a society. Just look at us. Where did the beauty go? Jasmine from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm going to shut up so I don't just keep going. <laughs> what about you? What do you got to say about this? I remember I was in the kitchen with my mom, and she was making a sandwich for my dad. And I go, why are you making a sandwich for dad? He can come out here and make his own. And she looked at me and she said, if I want to make my husband a sandwich, I'm going to make him a sandwich. And that stuck with me. And I've been praying lately for God to give me a heart of a wife. Yeah. And my question is, somebody who wants to be married, I'm a leader at my job. Yeah. I'm also a Ruby. Yeah. And so hold I, on a second. Uh, There's someone listening that has no idea what you just said. You're a leader on your job. What's a Ruby? She's a very driven personality. It's a teaching that we have called Gems. Helps you discover who you are and who the others are around you. So she's that really challenged, driven leader, rise to the top person. Okay, go <laughs> ahead, which is awesome. Um, yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm a single woman, so I've been kind of making my own decisions, controlling my own life. Yeah. How, what's the best way to transition into this? Girl, I think I think you already answered your own question. I love this, where you said that you're praying to God and saying, God, give me the heart of a wife. That's yeah. massive. Do you know, I prayed for a good 20 years, God, teach me how to be a wife. Because I didn't know how. My mom and dad were abusive with each other, right? My mom and my stepdad, mm -hmm. who I thought was my dad, they were violently abusive with each other. I mean, verbally, emotionally, mentally, and physically abusive with each other. So that's all I knew how to do. That's what I was trained to do. So that's what I did in my marriage in my early years. And so so I think that first step, I think you're on the right track with God, give me, give me the heart of a wife. And then I would begin to interview wives that, that mm -hmm. you want to learn yeah. from. Interview sure. them and also start paying attention to the propaganda of feminism that has, my friend, completely programmed you to believe that you don't have a use for a man. Thus, how old are you, girlfriend? 34. You're 34 and, and have no man. Right. So, And that's largely through programming. That's totally through programming. And so I think you're on the right track, but I seriously pray that prayer again and again. Start studying in the Bible what that is. But next, start, start spending time with women 
And even female teachers that you know the proof is that she truly is a wife and not just, you know, a facade of a wife. Um, But truly, like, get in and ask those hard questions. Ask mm-hmm. how it's done and ask God to, con- to, to change your heart. Because that, that honestly, I think you're on the right track. I love it, Amanda. It was just, such a great question. Okay, so we've got Carolina from Michigan. What about you, lady? <sighs> Carolina, say hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Sorry. Hi. What's your comment on today's program? Carolina, where did you go? Hi, can you hear me? I'm sorry about that. Yes, yes. So please give us your comment on today's program. Okay, thank you so much for sharing on this. This is a subject that um, has been very uh, hitting home, and it's, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not a feminist, um, but um, through my mother's um, example. You know, uh, example growing up, she, she, I, I have family that, you know, um, veers towards that direction where, you know, they're proud that they make the decision at home and all that and whatnot. But anyhow, after I got married, I made a decision that I wanted to be a serving wife. Yeah. And I don't mean like a servant. Like yeah. I Not a doormat. Not a doormat. Correct. Yes, Correct. exactly. And a lot of people, um, even within my Christian friends, um, you know, as I started my marriage, would look at that and they would just say, why are you doing that? You know, he can do that himself. And, and just like the lady previous said, yeah. um, that, that one woman said, yeah. because I want to, yeah. you know, because I want to. Yeah. And um, it, it's sad that feminism has been sneaking itself into Christian women's life, yeah. making them feel that we are doormats, yeah. that we are wallflowers, that yeah. we are... Uh, it's not true. You know, Yes. It's not true, Amanda. It's not true. It's not true. The women have been attacked by this mindset. And you're right. It has gone into the religious homes where you normally would be proud to be a wife and a mother. And here's what I can tell you. Man, you know what I found for me? I felt like I was useless as a wife and a mother. I thought I was useless. It's like mm-hmm. doing laundry. It's like, this is useless. This isn't any value. Mm-hmm. I just want to be in the workforce, man. I just, and I did. I had a business and I worked part time. And there was four years where I was retired. And I'm telling you, I felt useless. I was mad at Hans because he was building a business even without me. And I was like, gosh, man, I, I'm useless here. What am I accomplishing? And that's largely because women and motherhood is not celebrated, but it's put down. But it is the most valuable position in the world. We are the ones that shape the next generation. And we have largely been shaping the next generation for failure instead of success. We have been shaping the next generation to be spendthrifts. We've been shaping the next generation to be bloated, to be um, greedy, to be gossips, and to be disrespectful and dishonorable to ourselves and to men. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider Member today and get on the fast track to success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. 
Put The Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. And now back to The Danny Johnson Show. We're going over to uh, Anand from New York. Anand, I have one minute before I have to wrap up the show. What's your comments about today's topic? First of all, I'm going to say blessing and greeting the master to each and every one. I'm calling from Queens, New York. I Totally in support of most of the most of the divorces are initiated by females, but the lack of spirituality is a key component of these elements that destroy relationship. But Anand, listen to me carefully. Anand, the divorce rate in the church is the same. It's fifty percent. No. So what do you mean spirituality? No, there must be an awareness of the divine energy that bonds the human beings together. Yep. So it has nothing to do with religion because the divorce well, rate no, no, I'm not, is the same. I'm not I'm not exactly. Religion. You're talking about I'm the relationship with the divine living God. That is very different than religion. And unfortunately, most people, most people are in the place of religion, which is dead. Religion could be a very good thing, but many of the many folks who are religious are still not happy. Yes. But spirituality is what connects you with the infinite yes. energy that makes a re awaken your realization of the inner eye. Yes. And who and who you are and what you were created to be. Anand, thank you so much for that. Oh, my gosh. Listen, if you got anything out of today's program, whether you're mad at me for talking about it or you felt like a voice was given to you, Please leave us a comment right here. So if you are on our website, scroll down. If you're watching the show on the website, scroll down, leave us a comment. If you watch this on television or listen to it on the radio, come to dannyjohnson.com. Leave us a comment on today's program. YouTube, leave us a comment on YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you can come to Danny Johnson Live. Come and be a part of a supportive community of people who are working towards success in every area of their lives every area of their lives. A people who wanna do right and wanna see the next generation groomed for success instead of failure. Come and meet a people that have started from one place and now are in a completely different, more beautiful, more successful place. And come to First Steps to Success, our three-day event, January 19th, 20th, and 21st in San Diego, California. We have people fly flying in from South America, from Canada, from Australia, from Europe. People are flying in from all over the world. And if you're here in the U.S. and you ain't flying from Kentucky, come on, friend. Get out of that lazy boy chair. It's time to start your year off right on a completely different path and take the amount of success that you have now to a whole nother level. And to also take success and spread it into the marriage, to the kids, hello to your community, to your personal health, to your spirit man, to all of it. Do it now. Get registered now. Go to dannyjohnson.com, D-A-N-I johnson.com. Click on events. Register today. While the prices are still low, you can save $300 right now on that ticket. 
I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. God bless. If this episode was an encouragement to you, go to dannyjohnson.com and share it with your friends now. You never know who else needs to hear it. This has been The Danny Johnson Show. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted.